If Luis Suarez has to help in defensive tasks, he does so. If he has to give instructions, he gives them. If he has to ask for an aerial ball, he asks for it. If he has to try to reach every single ball, even playing a karate kid role, he does it. If he has to shout, he shouts. If he has to create a space that will be used by a teammate, he creates it. If he has to search for a header, he does it too. Suarez always uses his body to try to surprise his rivals. Sometimes he pretends he attacks the ball when what he really does is wait for it, but the defender knew that. We could see him using his body again here, but he ended on the floor asking for a foul. Sufian told him to stand up, and Suarez didn't like that at all. His strong character doesn't allow him to accept an apology if he believes that that behavior wasn't right. That discussion kept on going for several minutes. Nobody can doubt about his quality. This touch for Saul is a good example, and here he could throw a nutmeg to Jené, but the referee considered that was a foul, a decision Suarez couldn't understand. We could also see Suarez asking for the ball, but he didn't calculate well there. He knew it, so he asked for forgiveness first and regretted that afterwards, because Suarez regrets things a lot. In fact, this is how his first half ended. The second half started with Suarez jumping and landing on Sufian's foot. Now it was the Uruguayan who wanted to apologize and the Getafe defender who didn't want to accept that apology. Suarez tried to explain the referee what just happened. The referee explained it to Sufian too. They finally convinced him it hadn't been on purpose. Suarez insisted once more, just in case. Suddenly he passed the ball, the play continued, he asked for the ball, but it ended arriving to Joao Felix who scored. Suarez celebrated that one, always looking towards the linesman. The whistle was blown and Suarez protested, but that goal had been disallowed and Suarez knew why. The ball had gone out of the pitch before arriving to Joao. Suarez kept showing his skills. Here he knew where the ball would fall and where he wanted to send it. And here he knew where his teammate would be without even looking. But Aleti couldn't score, and Suarez started regretting everything again. He was getting upset, even desperate sometimes. Getafe were down to 10 men, and his team wasn't taking advantage of that. We could also see him reprimanding things to his teammates. And he couldn't tolerate Getafe players rolling on the floor, exaggerating. Suarez was getting impatient, and he was also losing his temper with the ball boys. They weren't in a hurry and the Uruguayan didn't like those tactics. The referee even had to calm him down by calling him by his name. Please, please. And Suarez ended that by telling the ball boys the classical see you outside, we'll see how brave you are there. Luis Suarez continued trying and he just invented an amazing shot using his left foot, but it ended hitting the post. That would have been a golazo. On the 89th minute, he saw how Dembele's header didn't want to go inside the net. In the end, Atletico lost another two points and La Liga title race is now more open than ever.